Hi, uh, welcome to the another episode of uh, Binaries on the Run. In this episode, I'm going to show you uh, why we use services and how we use services and what role it plays. So first, let's look at uh, some code. Uh, the, the important thing to uh, see here is that uh, I have a method called turn on maintenance mode. Uh, what it does is that uh, it turns on when we deploy to Heroku, then Heroku turns the maintenance mode on and we can take down the maintenance mode. So this is a smaller script which uh, makes it easier for us to deploy our code to Heroku. So I'm refactoring this code and uh, I came across this code. So here I have turn on maintenance mode which does these two lines of thing and then turn off maintenance mode which does pretty much similar stuff and in the arguments it has parameter 0 while turning on is 1. So that's the code. So this is a good example of extracting the code out to service. So before I talk about service, people ask me what's wrong with using model? Why I do not put uh, certain business logic in models and put them in service? And this is a good example. Like this thing does not belong in a model per se because model is definitely the place where a lot of business uh, logic goes but uh, we don't want to burden models with things they should not be bothered with uh, single responsibility principle uh, applies here and i think it's better to create a service so let's uh, create a service so here i have an app creator service i will just create another um, so i will create something called maintenance manage maintenance service something manage maintenance service.rb so what is my service so my service is nothing else but manage maintenance is a plain simple uh, Ruby class. I, I don't want too much of magic here. So uh, first I will add def initialize and I'm accepting a job and the job contains all the data that this job needs to be pushed and since I would be using this job here so this is my uh, kind of template. Okay. So how would it be used? So it would be used something like instead of uh, turn on maintenance mode and turn off maintenance mode, uh, it will be uh, something like manage maintenance service dot new job dot turn on. I can leave it as turn on, but I think it reads better if. Uh, from English English perspective, it reads better if I say turn on maintenance mode, and for it will be turn off. So this is what we are after, like this. So it's very simple. What we need to do is copy these methods to here, something like. Okay. So now let's see. Uh, so this code will work. But now that it has its own class, there is room, there is an opportunity to make it better. Previously, it didn't have its own class and if you make something private, it can get a little bit complicated. So the first thing I notice is that uh, so command.execute is there. So even though, uh, so let's make it private because anything else we are doing here is execute command and we pass a command and that command will just do one thing so you'll wonder why even though it's a one line thing why am i doing that it's not execute command so this is the first refactoring we have here it uh, line wise in fact i will increase the number of code but this it makes it very clear that okay this is the place where we are act actually executing the command so what's the advantage of taking uh, the code from these two lines to here 
and one thing is the single point like this is the point where all the commands are getting executed and one case could be during the debugging phase if I want to put kind of some kind of logger message I don't want to put the logger at both here and here now I can put the logger here okay so then the other thing what I can do is that when I'm building the command uh, what I can do is I can pass some of the things so so, so I can have another uh, method called def build command and to this command I can pass cmd and arguments and if I receive those arguments then what I can do is I can do and I can say CMD here arguments uh, since job is accessible through attribute reader so I don't need to do that so suddenly I can uh, say something like instead of Heroku create I can do build command so pass the first thing this and second one is the whole argument so this is much better than so this is uh, removing the code duplication yes this is needed okay uh, I'm not running the test uh, just to keep this this video uh, short but uh, if we run the test then all the um, test should be passing because uh, we are not changing any kind of behavior this is just a refactoring but now if you look at it what we are saying is that in the arguments we have the arguments but still there is reputation we are passing job dot Heroku name so then we can say that uh, here let's say that we are passing just one or zero so argument and then what we can do is we can make it an array of job dot Heroku app name comma make it argument and then this so now suddenly we have to just pass one or zero so now we are seeing the improvement okay but now uh, the command that we see that command is same okay so let's put that here after as a constant so in this case to turn on the maintenance mode or not the command is this okay and we can pass here command is equal to Heroku command so now we can remove the first argument So now we are going somewhere the we are building the command and we have the argument but the argument name does not say anything about what is actually happening so so what we can do is that we can have instead of we need to pass one and zero uh, so we can say that a better name will be main tenants mode because this is what it's saying it's a maintenance mode one or zero and so we can say maintenance mode so now the names are much more m meaningful they are contextual 
However, there's one issue. We are dealing with one and zero, and I don't like to, to deal with one and zero because that doesn't mean anything. So in order to make a meaning out of it, what we can do, we can create a constant. We can say that maintenance mode on is one and maintenance mode is off is zero. So now what we need to do is we need to pass on or off. So now we are getting somewhere. Now if I look at the code, uh, turn on maintenance mode, build command, maintenance mode on, maintenance mode off. Now this looks, this makes a lot more sense. And since build command is just doing this thing, so here instead of command, we can just say execute command, build command, and to the build command we are passing the parameter. So now we'll put that in parenthesis. So now the uh, code I believe is looking uh, much better and we can go even uh, one step further and the build command itself can execute the command after building it. So uh, what we can say is something like build and execute. And, and we don't need to say command, build and execute. So this is command. And then we can say execute command. Or just say execute command. So now we have build and execute. build and execute okay so this uh, This looks good and I think I'm pretty happy with it. So if we so now look at where we are. So here we have a, a class which is of 32 lines compared to the code that we had was starting from 38 to 48 lines. So this eight lines of code we have converted into 32 lines of code. So how is that better? It's better because this code is a lot more maintainable. This code here, there is no uncertainty. There, we know exactly what's happening. This is a Heroku command. This is the maintenance mode on. This is the maintenance mode off. This is job. We are turning on maintenance mode. So we are doing build and execute maintenance mode on. Uh, turn off maintenance mode. Build and execute maintenance mode off. In the case of build and execute, we are taking the maintenance mode we are creating the Heroku command, Heroku command arguments job dot Heroku maintenance mode and and then we are executing that command. So everything is in place and this code is much more maintainable. That's all for this episode. I will see you next time. Thank you very much.